Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and um, just wanted to mention that uh, there's a new firmware version available for the Shoyang LC90. Uh, it adds things because I noticed that the menus, a lot of the menus have changed, have added options. Uh, for example, if you go into the menu here, there's data SIM card and SIM card selection, which wasn't there before. So there's a few little things like that that are there. Um, so, and there's a legal and regulatory um, part of the radio. So it's it definitely a uh, new 4.6 is the new version and it actually does change a few things. Um, I'm going through the menus, I'm going through the radio. I'll be doing a video to talk about the added things within this receiver. Uh, for now, okay, um, the things that I did observe and uh, one of the promises of Shoyun is that in the streaming part of the radio, uh, there's less of uh, problems, so there's less freezes, less issues, and that technically it works better. So, this is Voice of America. Um, there's um, so I'm 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 tr looking at that to see how well it performs. It did freeze and did have a few things on smart radio side that that's kind of interesting. Of course, uh, shortwave still works great uh, as long as you turn off Wi-Fi and go to the shortwave side. Unfortunately, the only thing that I find really sad is that they didn't fix, or maybe they don't know how to fix or understand how to fix single sideband. Um, I try to explain what's happening and unfortunately it's very difficult to explain why single sideband is bad. I mean if the station in single sideband, so let me extend the antenna here, if the station in single sideband is perfectly on frequency there is no issue. But the problem with single sideband, so this is CHU. You can see it overloads a little bit. There's some kind of voice over CHU, so it does definitely overload. And I'm using just the external, the telescopic, so forget about putting an external antenna on this, that's for sure. So let me just see if 6754 is coming in tonight. Yeah, it is. So, shortwave to go to USB. Here we go. That sounds pretty good. I mean, it's close to the frequency, so in this case, yeah, it works great. But when we move up, okay, when we move up with the fine tuning, we should have a tone going down and we have a tone going up so you see now it sounds like you know Mickey Mouse in with, with a helium bag or something it shouldn't be that way and if you go down here we lose it and we're actually completely a kilohertz off you can see how high pitched so that's the problem. It's I, I think they don't understand how to fix it. Because this needs to be fixed. If this is fixed, this radio gets a much better grain for those that listen to utilities. Once again, if the frequency is on dot, you know, perfect. It's not too bad. But the problem is there's ham radio operators that are brought, you know, transmitting on quarter or half kilohertz. And sometimes, you know, pirate radios are off. You want to kind of fine tune. It's impossible. You can't fine tune with this. So when you tune an SSB signal, it has to be perfectly on the frequency or forget it. You'll never be able to tune it correctly. Uh, this needs to be fixed. I'm sorry. But um, I look at what happens and I'm like, I hope that the next radio they do, they take notes and make sure it's perfect because... You know what? I want Shoyang to do amazing radio. 
I want Shoyang to do the best. Because they are giving us on the market a radio that didn't exist before. Half shortwave, AM, long wave, half smart radio. I find that extraordinary. But man, there needs to be a perfect radio or close to it. I mean, it doesn't have, no radio is perfect. I say it all the time. But this thing is, you know, amazingly uh, good for what it is and it could be so much better now one word of caution all of those that want to update the firmware the biggest problem of the firmware is i've seen quite a lot of posts uh, dan robinson um I'll, I'll post the link to his channel again uh he's updated this to 4.6 and it break the radio radio doesn't work and when I went to the Shoyang LC90 Facebook group, I was surprised at the amount of people that are having a radio issue with the upgrade. Mine went super well and it went really fast. So, I don't know. Um, you know, you got to remember that once you start the upgrade to 4.6, you just leave it alone. You don't touch any buttons. You don't do nothing. You make sure that it's in a room where Wi-Fi is good, so it can actually connect, download, and do everything right. Uh, maybe because I did that. The other thing that I did is, before I did the upgrade, I actually, like a PC, pressed the button to make sure it powers off. And once it was off, once it was really off, I pressed the button to restart the radio again. Then I did the firmware update. You know, like any PC, I think the restart refreshes a lot of the circuitry and a lot of the radio's internal, um, you know, workings. So I think it's important to do so. I think it's important to make sure that the receiver is restarted like a radio, like a computer that gives it afterwards its best performance and then you update the firmware i think that's the way to the success of updating the firmware so more videos i'll be checking out the different menus and what's different on the radio and uh yeah that internet search is a tough one um i mean you know you press lang you gotta wait till the indicator let's try to to get the bbc in I would say there's a 50-50 chance I get it. Oh, it's not connected. There's no uh, Wi-Fi here. It's going to go. That's good, because the Wi-Fi is off. Kind of difficult to connect to Wi-Fi when Wi-Fi is off. And then I'm going to try it again. So, um, I, I wish it would be better. Um, and I wish there would be a text way of searching for the stations we want to that would help compensate for the the voice search that doesn't work that great so let's try bbc world service okay let's do that so here we go bbc world service and it got BBC World Service. It worked the first time. So that's great. So now it's going to give me BBC. Here we go. Press. And I should have the BBC World Service in a few seconds in a smart radio. She really could appeal to more people in the middle. I think she had or has kind of an uphill battle in proving, you know, these things that she wants to do when, in essence, has had the last four years. So, um... Come on, Shoyang, you can do it. Um, I've seen you really talk to us and ask us what's wrong and try to fix things the best way you can. And I think you can continue making the LC90 even better. Um, once again, it's a radio you love to hate. I called it like that because what I notice is the comments are either I'm happy and it's fantastic to have both worlds. I'm in that category. I'm happy with it. Um, but half of it is, yeah, I'm going to return it. There's, there's too many things going wrong with this radio. 
unfortunately. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.